Maptitude mapping software gives you the tools, maps, and data you need to analyze and understand how geography affects you and your business. This video will demonstrate a number of ways that you can use Maptitude and the Canada Country Package to better understand where your customers are, spot trends that cannot be seen in tables and spreadsheets alone, and answer geographic questions that impact your operations. For example, here is an Excel file that contains a spreadsheet of customer data including address, sales volume, and sales territory information, and a second spreadsheet with office location information. Using Maptitude, I can create a new map using this data. The first thing I can do is use the customer worksheet to create a pin map showing the location of each customer on a map. Create a map wizard will guide you through the options of choosing how to present your data and when complete will display a map such as this showing exactly where your customers are located. Another way to use the data in a map is to attach it to an area layer such as postal codes so that you can see the total sales, average sales, or total number of customers in each postal code. Maptitude offers a number of ways of illustrating the data on the map, such as with color heat maps, charts, and dot densities. You can see with this color theme where sales are highest, shown with darker shades, and where sales are lower, shown in lighter shades. And if I launch Create a Map Wizard one more time, I can also add my offices as a point layer to the map. I don't need a color theme, but I will label the offices with their names. And this time I'll also use one of the Create a Map Wizard analysis options to add buffers around the offices at 5 and 10 kilometer distances. And compute demographics for the buffers. Because I chose to compute the demographics, Mathodoo creates a report with a map showing the buffers and the table of the demographics for the population 0 to 5 kilometers from an office and the population 5 to 10 kilometers from an office. And when I close the report, you can see that Maptitude has updated the map as well with the office locations and the buffers. Maptitude maps are fully customizable. The display manager shown here on the left side of the screen gives you complete control of what is shown on the map and how to display it. You can change the style of map features by clicking on the style sample next to the item that you want to change. For example, I'll change the style of the offices to stand out from the customers by making them a different symbol, color, and size. You can change the labels of map features. I'll change the labels on the store layers to stand out a little more by changing their color and size. And you can also choose to display or hide entire layers of features in the map. For example, I'll hide the buffers and the postcode layer on which the theme is displayed. In addition to circular buffers, Maptitude has tools for creating drive time rings around the offices. For example, I will create three rings at 10 minute intervals, making sure to include my customer information in the drive time ring analysis. and Maptitude will determine what areas are reachable from an office in 10, 20, and 30 minutes. Now that I can see how accessible the offices are to the customers, I can create a report of the results. Maptitude computes the demographics for the time rings and also shows the number of customers that are within 10, 20, and 30 minutes of an office and their total sales. Maptitude can create tables that list the cost of travel between any number of origins and destinations. For example, I can find the travel time and distances for the customers to the offices and display the results in an Excel file, allowing me to determine the best alternative offices to serve customers. On this sheet, you can see the travel time to each of the four stores for each customer. Maptitude includes tools for routing. For example, I can find an optimal route that starts at the city office, visits each office for 30 minutes, and returns back to the city office. I can click here to see the directions from one stop to another, and I can also create a PDF file with the route directions. Maptitude also has tools for building and managing territory layers. For example, I can use the territory information in the original Excel file and match it with the postcodes on the map and track the sales volume for each territory. Once the territories are built, you can adjust them to create better balanced territories. 
For example, I can modify this territory that has lower total sales, and then highlight some postal code areas in this territory with higher sales. Maptitude shows how the sales totals change as postal codes areas are moved from one territory to the other. And when I save the change, you can now see that the sales volumes for the territories are more evenly distributed. Maptitude also has a facility location tool that you can use to choose the best location for one or more facilities from a set of possible locations. For example, suppose the office locations on this map are locations that are available for opening new offices. I want to open three offices from these four locations. Maptitude can determine which three will provide the best level of service based on my needs. In this case, Maptitude has determined that the three offices shown with the green checks will provide the best level of service. That wraps up this video showing you some of the ways that you can use Maptitude with the Canada data. More in-depth information and tutorials on topics shown here, such as creating maps with your data, finding routes, and building territories, is available on the Caliper website. In addition, you can find videos covering other topics, such as filtering data by value or location, adding satellite imagery to a map, identifying catchment areas, and creating heat maps and hotspots.